Whether you're a creator, streamer, or just somebody who needs some extra real estate when it comes to desktop space, you probably already know that if you have a desktop computer, it's relatively easy to add more monitors. But what if you needed to add an extra screen to, say, a laptop? Well, stay tuned because today I'm reviewing the sidetrack, and you're not going to want to miss this. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now the sidetrack is an LCD screen. In this case, this one is a freestanding model, which includes a kickstand, but there's also models of the sidetrack which attach to the back of the LCD screen of a monitor. And these are actually patented designs. And I do say patented because there are knockoffs of this design, which I'll get into shortly. But the sidetrack, here is the real deal. Now, like I said, there are some knockoffs of the sidetrack out there, and they've been featured on some very popular YouTube channels. The YouTubers at the time did not know they were violating patents, and there's also some litigation going on, a lot of litigation going on in China, and the manufacturer of those knockoffs is in deep trouble. To see a clip of what's happening to that manufacturer in court, check out this clip. <laughs> As far as the design, I really like the sidetrack. It's very compact, it's very lightweight, but it, it's very premium feeling. Of course, we have all glass covering here, which has a bit of glare, but makes it just look so nice. I got the white gloves out for that reason. <clears throat> this is an all metal design, feels like aluminum. Um, and even the hinges feel premium. They are stiff, they hold up well. We got rubber feet here on the bottom and just everything has a perfect fit and finish it feels expensive and they are reasonably priced considering what you get because this is not just a little screen you just tape on to the back of your monitor it's not some knockoff <clears throat> this is the real deal it, this can even be used for creative applications. Now I have the sidetrack set up right next to my Asus G14 laptop. I'm outputting over HDMI from right here to mini HDMI into the sidetrack. You have two USB cables included. One USB-C cable is for power. The other USB-C cable could be used for power as well as graphics over USB-C, which a lot of laptops support, including this one. However, for this demonstration, I did want to see how well it would do out of HDMI, and I'm getting 1080p as 60 hertz. A lot of interesting features I found on the monitor itself is that it is of course a touch screen and a very good one at that. Also the screen has very high pixel density which is another thing I liked. There's a lot of on-screen menu as well. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, you can activate HDR which it does support HDR. You can adjust the volume settings, correct the color. There's a lot of nice features like a professional monitor that I found on this little screen. This is a good monitor. If this was just a monitor that you bought to use as your desktop, it's a, a higher end monitor than most. It might not have the speed, like 240 hertz and gaming specs, but for just a panel, um, how thin it is, how well built it is, how good the screen is, the quality of the display, the way it looked, it looked pretty, it looked good. You didn't, it didn't look fuzzy and non-defined, everything was sharp. And I really like this product. I'm not sponsored. I know it sounds like I'm shilling, but when a product gets sent to me and I like it, I'm going to recommend it, <clears throat> especially if I think it's a good value and my viewers will, um, will appreciate it. Like if you <clears throat> followed my advice and went out and bought this and brought it home because Nico told you to, I would say that you're going to be happy with it. And that's what I don't want you coming back. Hey man, you told me it was great and it sucks. So obviously I want to make you know a good impression and I want to give good uh, recommendations. This one also does have speakers. Seems like they're bottom firing here. And that'll be over HDMI. You can also send audio out of USB-C. Let's have a, um, <clears throat> a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. Um, I guess you could be using you know output out of there. I don't really think they had to have that because you usually have sound output out of the laptop. Ah, interesting touch. Overall, this thing is a winner. And this model actually comes in different styles. This is the standalone um, with its um, <clears throat> with its kickstand, and you don't need to attach it to anything. But there are models which will actually attach to the back of the laptop screen, and they'll slide out and swing around, and they do that cool trick. But uh, this one is the one that they sent me, and I've, I've actually been waiting a long time to review this one. 
If you follow the link in description to Sidetrack's website, you'll see that they actually make several different types of portable monitors for this exact type application. The one that I'm reviewing today is the Solo Touch Pro HD 15.8 inch, which is a touchscreen with FreeSync and HDR. And that one is $399.99, but check the link in description for the latest prices. You'll also see that there's some that attach to the back of the monitor and will slide out and swivel out, which these would be a good option for a smaller laptop or for needing extra screen while on the go. If you're going to be using this at a desk, you might as well just go with the Solo Pro HD or the Solo Touch Pro HD 15.8 inch. But there's also many options, including the Swivel Triple, which will allow you to have two extra monitors. Again, follow the link in description and check out what options suit you. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this review helpful. If you'd like to pick up this product, you can get it at the link in description. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.